Well, trade's so important in the Americas, you know, uh, as we work to reduce poverty in America, trade's one of the tools. Uh, thanks to the trade preferences that we provide the Andean region, similar to what we've done over the last 20 years for the Caribbean region. You know, there's tens of thousands of families in Colombia, Peru, uh, Ecuador, and Bolivia today who have improved their economic livelihood because they now have access to the U.S. market, whether it's an indigenous cooperativa in uh, Ecuador that's producing broccoli uh, for the uh, U.S. market, or uh, apparel manufacturers, flower growers in Colombia, or Ecuador, uh, because of trade, they have an opportunity to escape poverty. Uh, the bottom line is uh, trade can make a big difference. It's an important tool. Uh, trade preferences are temporary, and often as I travel throughout the region, uh, political leaders and, and people in the private sector always say, can we make this somehow make it permanent? And of course, the way to make these trade preferences and, and trade concessions permanent is to have a bilateral trade agreement. Uh, the Central American uh, uh, Dominican Republic free trade agreement has been a tremendous boost to attracting additional investment uh, to Central America and the Dominican Republic, but also for Illinois and American uh, workers, farmers, manufacturers, it's given increased access. And in fact, our trade surplus with Central America has gone up significantly since CAFTA was ratified. So it's been a real winner uh, for U.S. manufacturers, U.S. workers, U.S. farmers, as well as attracting additional investment to the Central American region. We have a lot more work to do. Of course, uh, outstanding uh, uh, agreements such as the U.S.-Columbia Free Trade Agreement. Uh, we have the Pan U.S.-Panama Free Trade Agreement. Uh, we recently ratified uh, the U.S.-Peru Peru Free Trade Agreement. So we have more work to do. And you consider the fact that Colombia today, under President Uribe, is uh, America's best, strongest, and most reliable partner in Latin America. Uh, you know, we have a good relationship there, and of course, uh, they deserve to have the us Columbia Free Trade Agreement uh, ratified soon. Well, President Uribe has a lot of fans uh, in the United States Congress. He's made such a difference. Uh, violence has, has been reduced significantly. Uh, murders are down. Kidnappings are down. Uh, the, the presence of uh, President Uribe, and particularly the, the, the national government of Colombia, is now felt in every municipality in, uh, in Colombia. Uh, of course, uh, we hear the stories about President Uribe's town meetings and, and where he goes out in areas that have never seen the president of Colombia before, and he makes himself available and accessible uh, to regular people, and he brings along his ministers uh, to hold them accountable for the questions and needs of the communities that he visits. So I, I admire him for that, but the, but the bottom line is, Colombia is the longest standing democracy in Latin America. Uh, President Uribe today stands as the most popular elected official in the entire hemisphere, of popularity higher than 80%. You, know, you compare that to the U.S. Congress, uh, he's a pretty popular guy. And those are Colombians uh, that approve of him, and he's been in office uh, for now about six years. Uh, and that's because he's made a difference. Uh, people feel free to, to travel throughout the country. Uh, capital is flowing back into Colombia. You're seeing the flow of capital come in, major investments going on, creating jobs. The trade preferences, the ending trade preferences, are good through the end of 2000, 2008. They expire. Uh, we can make them permanent uh, by, uh, by ratifying the U.S. Columbia Free Trade Agreement. Uh, I just had a group of corn growers in my office, and as they pointed out, if you're a U.S. farmer, uh, the U.S. Uh, Columbia and the U.S. Peru Free Trade Agreements were the best ever in history when it comes to providing access to U.S. farmers and growers and livestock producers. And also, if you're a manufacturer of uh, Illinois or U.S.-made products, uh, the tariffs, 80% of tariffs are eliminated on day one, increasing access for bulldozers that are made in my district or other types of equipment or, or uh, manufactured goods. Bottom line is the U.S.-Columbia Free Trade Agreement is a win-win for both sides. And let's remember, Columbia is not only our best friend in Latin America, but our most reliable partner.